Hello SFDC folks. I hope everyone is doing good. So today I'm going to talk about how we can create scratch orts using VS Code. So before we start creating the scratch or I would like to let you know a brief description about what scratch orts are. So scratch orts are nothing but a temporary orts which you can use for development and testing purposes and then deploy the, all the developed metadata into your main org. So this is just to segregate the uh, different functionality built by different teams so that all of them are not working on the same org and uh, just messing up the components that have been already created. So these are scratch orgs actually, the temporary orgs that you can use. So in order to create a scratch org, you should have a source dev hub. Dev hub is nothing but the source from where the scratch orgs will be retrieved or created. So suppose this is my dev hub, the source org. And I want to enable it as a dev hub. So what you need to do is go to setup, search for dev hub. This is, remember, this is the source org from where my scratch orgs will be created. There is an option to enable dev hub. Just click on enable button here, toggle this. And this org will be enabled as a dev hub. It is now enabled. Let's go to VS Code. Just create any random project with manifest. And now what we'll do is we'll just authorize our dev hub that we have just enabled. Authorize a dev hub because until and unless you don't have a dev hub, you will not be able to create the scratch orts because you should have a source first. Let's authorize it. And now it is authorized. Let's go back to our VS code. Yep. So in the VS code folder or the file that you project that you just created, you will find an option called config. Click on that. A JSON file will, will be there called project scratch definition. This is the definition of the scratch or the details of the scratch or that you will create. So you can edit it as per your need. I am naming the scratch or that I will create as demo company. Addition will be developer you uh, if, if the source dev hub is your enterprise or uh, unlimited then you can mention the addition as per your need and then these are the features that i want to pre enable be after the org after the uh, scratch org is created so you can mention multiple features by comma separated inside this array and these are the settings also that needs to be enabled when the scratch org gets created okay so this file can be modified and you can it is very helpful as well let's go and now create a scratch org here it is you will in the command palette you will find an option called create a default scratch org now it will ask the definition of the scratch org so we, as i said inside the config there is already a file created it is just asking whether you want to use this file as the definition of the scratch out that I that it will create. Let's select this one. And let's name the scratch org as uh, scratch or for whatever for whatever functionality you are creating this. It's just a alias name just to identify what is the purpose of this scratch org for car rental. Okay. And now it will ask for the expiry date of the scratch out that you want to create. It can range from 1 to 30 days. So let's keep it maximum of 30 days and it will automatically be expired and you won't be able to access that org anymore after 30 days. The default is 7 but you can change it to 30. Let's enter. And you can match the details of the new scratch org by seeing this definition. Whatever the name and everything is there, that scratch org will follow this property. Okay. It is getting created. It takes a bit of time. Just have some patience and the, your scratch or will be created. Once it is created, we'll open it up and validate whether everything matches with our definition or not. It is, yeah, it's, it has created. So in order to open your scratch or you need to enter this command and open default org. 
so this is your news or the scratch out that has been newly created see its domain is different from your dev hub my dev hub is this and my scratch org is this in order to validate other information as well go to company information of this newly created org and you will find the name of the company will be demo company is it matching with the definition that we have provided over here yes and the addition is developer edition you can see it here so this is how you can create scratch or now you do every all kinds of development testing over here and once it is verified just deploy the metadata things over to your source or in order to merge them okay this is your connected or now so whatever you build and deploy to source it will go to your scratch or directly thanks for watching i hope it was helpful